Um, your name is? Emily. Emily, nice meeting you. Nice to meet you as well. So, um, last time I came here, um, I don't know, we start we started on hole 14. Yes. Last time, because, you know, um, we, we beat in the traffic. So, we're going to start okay. from 14, we're going to do 18, but... Okay. Um, last time I played this hole, they said Tiger birdied this hole. That is correct. He did birdie this hole. Um, um, but so did I. All right, let's so, do it again. So did right? I. And we have it on camera. <laughs> last time we was here, um, also... Two Drake records in the can, locked and loaded. In the can, one mix master ready to go. It's almost that time. <laughs> Remember I told you. Remember, listen, Calvin and Drake, not only is it's bigger than music, okay? And every time we put something out, it's upon your head. And not even just that, it's two decades of anthems, okay? Two decades of friendship. Some boy I have chewed, and mine like me have decades of blood clot chewing. It's right down the middle, it's a bomb. Look at that. And rolling and bouncing. How you Great like shot. that, Emily? Great shot. There you go. <laughs> Let's go. We... All right, so I birdied this hole. Tiger birdied this hole. Last time I here, I birdied this. Now, I have to make this shot in the hole to birdie this. I was telling Emily, them do it. Why can't I? Now, last time I played this course, I was on the green on three. And I put it in for four. So now I got to chip this to go in to be a birdie. And if, if it don't go in... I'll take the par. That's in the hole. We'll go for a par. I got two trade records. One mix and master. After I make this putt, I'm going to tell you something. I have two Drake records. One is ready, mixed and master, ready to go upon your head. I'm actually going over art. I love the art too. Not only am I going over, the art is done. I'm trying to figure out which one I want to go with. Two in the can, new album in the works, new album title coming. But that one Drake Calvin record, mix and master ready to go. It's almost that time. It's almost that time. You gotta understand, Calvin and Six God, it's bigger than music. Two decades, over two decades of friendship, but also over two decades of anthems coming upon your bumble clock. Anytime I tell somebody I got my Drake's records locked and loaded, trust me, everybody's scrambling. Everybody's running. Everybody's calling me. When you dropping them? You know, different record companies. Yo, when are you dropping it? You know, everybody trying to time their their singles and their albums because they know I'm coming. They know I'm coming. To me, me not worry about them. Everybody calling around me. <laughs> Yo, when can I drop it? Because we want to time our. <laughs> when can I drop it? Because we want to time our. <laughs> I'm coming. Oh my God. Emily. Yes. What do you? Charlie Woods or Tiger Woods do on this par four? Mm, that's a tough question. Birdie? It was a birdie. Was it a birdie? I'm, I'm sure it is. was. I mean, when you talk about my brother Charlie Woods and my brother Tiger Woods, it's usually eagle. Yeah. Par four, I feel like or this Or birdie one's... or what do you call it? Hole in one? Hole in one. <laughs> yeah. So what, you know what? To be fair, I'm going to go for a birdie. Look how beautiful. Look how beautiful. Oh, birdie was the goal. Let's go for eagle. We have 223 to the pin, 203 to the front. And we have two Drakes locked and loaded, one ready to go upon your head. Listen, this Calvin, <laughs> when it's Calvin and Drake, I mean, not the one, you know, I, you know, you know, listen, I got love for everybody. And if you get a Drake feature, God bless you. But this ain't, <laughs> this ain't this uh, feature. <laughs> when it's Calvin and Drake, <laughs> I mean, not the one that you, you know, when the album come out and you, you, you have, you have one dip on it. No, my bumper club, big show. You know, word for word, you know, when you put the mic in the sky and you sing it word for word. It's almost <laughs> that time. You said two what? 223 to the pen. Wow. Oh yeah. Chip in the putt. I'll take it. So I'm on the green on three. On the green at three. You gotta yes. make this for par. It's gonna move a little left to right. Oh, that's beautiful. Oh, that's beautiful. Little windy. Little windy. So what are we looking at here? We got a par four into the wind. Look at that. 
so beautiful. So what's the distance on this one? We have 213 to the back pin into the wing. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. I'm going for it. So beautiful. We're talking about a small chip that possibly gonna go in the hole. Wait, where's my second shot? That is your is second. it par four? Yes. I'm gonna pull out the nine iron. This shot I'm about to do, I'm about to call it a bump and run. I call it my nine iron major key. I know you would have used your, your 60 or your 50 or your 56. Nah, I'm gonna show you skills. Look at this, look at this. Come on, baby! Come on! Don't play with me. Not mad at all. I'll take a bogey. I'm gonna either par it or bogey. That's like natural. Eagles are birdie. <laughs> That's what I, when that bag is up, when that bag is on the line. Who next? Who's next? Who's next? Like real talk, you know what's so crazy? You know what I love about golf? You know I meet people all the time. Oh, I can do this, I can do that. Where's your bag? And when they see me on that golf course, everything changed. The same way when I tell them I got a Drake ready record ready to go, <laughs> everybody, <laughs> Everybody run it back to the studio! Listen, you're looking at tw over 20 years of hits! This is a par three, what's the distance on this? Par three, 180. I could use my seven wood, you know, some of y'all might use your iron. Y'all like it to flow! Look at that. Beautiful. distance 521 it's a par 5 what's the course record uh 60 you're going for it i watched rory play the other day so i'm like i'm stepping up my driver golf is all about confidence that's what it's about yes you know you need to know the fundamentals of the game and the sport but if you have the confidence especially when you go pro like me the cameras are always on so it's like look Emily, so is this a par four and what, um, I don't see the flag, talk to me about this. It's a par four, it's 320 yards at dog leg right, you want to cut it around the corner? Call let's go around the corner. Beautiful. Who's next? Oh yeah, yeah, you can beat me. Who's next? Bring two bags, golf bag and brown paper bag. Who's next? Yo, it's real out here, guys. You see? They know I got them Drake records coming, see that gator? You see that gator popped out, he backed in. They trying. <laughs> it's coming by your head! This is a beautiful shot. See that corner? People will play it safe and hit right there. I'm going straight for that corner like by that tree. Like a, like a stinger. Ching. Look at that. Perfect. Right over that tree. See that flag? Over that, that rock? It's like a little hill. Watch this. Golf is all about confidence and like swing thoughts. Rory taught me about that. Swing thoughts. To stay consistent, you gotta have them swing thoughts. You gotta come up to the ball and just be confident, but at the same time, just consistency, that feeling, you know? You see what I'm saying? You see what I'm saying? Look how beautiful that is. Like, each swing is the thoughts. You gotta picture it. You know what I'm saying? You gotta see it. You gotta visualize it. Then you gotta execute it. Then you gotta bring it to life. Like I said, Rory taught me the consistency of having that winning swing all the time is swing thoughts. Look how beautiful, look at that. That's on the green, come on, on the green. Rory, thank you for that advice. No, he told me. Cause I kept watching him play golf 
because I got to up and close and personal. And the man just kept being like so consistent, but so swagged out. He like watches too. And he was just like, like not even like breaking a sweat, like just, it's just not just the confidence, but he told me it was all about the swing thoughts. You know what I'm saying? It don't matter if it's a trip, drive, whatever. The, it's just, the, you come up and it's just about the thoughts of, of just winning. I'm proud of this shot. I'm very proud of this shot. Emily, what is this? Number nine, par four, 387 yards. Looks like the Everglades. Swing thoughts. Oh, beautiful. Ooh. You know what I love about golf? No, I said this earlier and keep this. That's called beautiful. Some of those, those golfers out there be like, yo, what is that, 100? No, it's 250 yards. Who's next? Bring two bags, a golf bag and a brown bag. Swing thoughts. The thoughts gotta be winning. I guess I want you to go in the hole. You see the thoughts? You see the thoughts? Rory said, Calla, for consistency of a beautiful swing, it's swing thoughts. I usually would putt this, but I feel like Rory. I feel like Rory! Come on, guys. Listen, you're Rory. Brother, thank you for that advice. I'm like skipping on the golf course now. Like it's, it's like effortless. No, 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 that advice. Cause I asked him a question that nobody's gonna ask him because you might think it's just like a random question. No, cause when I seen him up and close and personal, I asked him, what's the, how do you have that consistency of all your swings? It just looks like perfect. Beautiful. It's called a stingray. This shot, first of all, my drive was beautiful. Um, this shot requires super Rory swing thoughts. This is like what, 165 you said? 165. I'm gonna use my seven wood and let it flow. And just let it flow. And just let it flow. Let it flow. This advice that Rory gave me is unbelievable. It changed my whole game to like top notch. What a shot. What a shot. Swing thoughts. Swing. Thoughts. 